Welcome to the Cave on Roos Park, the exact copy of a medieval cave. And its size is about 10 hectares. Doesn't seem like a lot to you, does it? Well, in the 11th century, cave was many times larger than most leading European cities. Back then, it could fit 10 Parises and as much as 50 Londons. If, like us, you're ready to dive into some ancient Slavic traditions and cultures, we have something very exciting for you. Here at the Kievan Rus Park, you can find out all about medieval culture and see what ancient Kievan Rus was like. Yes, traditional Ukrainian holidays are a lot of fun, uh, full of customs, ancient symbolism, and of course, local flavor. Let's check it out. After you. What did they do in Kievan Rus? Well, first of all, it was a powerful military state. Ancient Ukrainians went to war with the Byzantians in the south. Once, the Kiev Prince Oleg even nailed a shield to the gates of their capital, Constantinople. This symbolic gesture was associated with the unconditional victory. For a long time, the Byzantines were afraid to remove the shield of the Kiev Prince from their gates. Oh, you, you can, you can. <laughs> the most mighty warriors of Kivian Rus trained themselves in a kind of tournament. The place they did this was called the Big Rustelish, and they have one here in the park. Maybe he's gonna stand on it and like fly with it. <laughs> Just look at the size of the thing. A trebuchet is a catapult, a throwing machine that in the Middle Ages was used not only to destroy defensive walls, but also as the first bacterial weapon. Yes, you got it right. Using this thing, the heads of rotten cattle were thrown. The goal was to cause an epidemic in the enemy camp. <laughs> yes. I mean, they missed, but that was very special, very well done. Times the bells tolled on the holidays, warning the locals about the return of a victor from the battle. As well as of the enemy's approach, a natural disaster, sure? and even grief for the dead. Split up, cover more ground. Okay, I'll see you soon. See you shortly. In the 12th century, there were 60 craft specialities in Kivian Rus. Blacksmiths, jewelers, tailors, woodworkers, and much, much more. So I'm here now to mint a coin, the good old fashioned way, with a massive hammer and this guy. That's your future coin. That's my future coin. Okay, may I touch it for luck? Yes. I'll make a wish. Okay, good, now. Yeah. I wished for more coins. You want me to hit it? Do you want to hold, hold? I'm good luck. All right, hold this. Yeah, hold that one. Okay. Smooth. And then just smack it on there as hard as I... Okay. okay. 
So everyone, everyone stand, everyone stand back. Yes. That's, that's what that'll do. May I? So this side, Prince Vladimir, and the other is uh, the coat of arms of Ukraine. So very happy with that. Basically did it first time. So um, watch out, I might take your job. Well, I really finessed my hammering, I think. Um, and now I have two coins. Uh, so let's move on to the next activity. While Rob tries to fill up the treasury, I chose a more relaxing activity for myself, weaving a wreath. Hello. Hello. I'd like to make a flower crown. So, um, please okay. welcome. I'll show you how to do it. It's right. a very ancient tradition. Okay. From pagan times. The symbol of the wreath is found in all known cultures and goes back thousands of years. There are wedding, funeral, Christmas and many other wreaths. And for each of them, there is a special weaving technique. The one we are making right now is of the special Kapala type. That if you uh, have such uh, flower crown and uh, you put it uh, on the water, on a river or a lake, uh, anything you find, uh, if it will uh, flow, it means that this year you will marry. Okay. <laughs> if not, it means that not this year. <laughs> this tradition is devoted to the holiday of the solstice called Ivan Kopala. We have a similar tradition in the UK, which is summer solstice, but that's 21st of June. So it's very similar that people get together and have a celebration. Um, but I've never made a flower crown before, but I know that they do try and make flower crowns. But not as nice as this. <laughs> it's good to try it in Ukraine. Yes, you seem to have better flowers. <laughs> So our flower crown is ready, so please it's for you. Oh, thank you! You need to wear it on your head. Yes, okay. I'm the flower princess. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> it smells really nice. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm an ancient uh, shooting range, because at a time before guns and nunchucks used to use arrows, uh, throwing knives and axes. So come on in and uh, watch me smoke some mothers. Hello, Boris. Hello. I'm Rob. Nice to meet you. So for what you want to shoot? Um, so I'd like to shoot this. Is it a crossbow? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I'd like to get it right in the middle of that apple, if that's possible. Okay. Put it from the middle. Yes, click. We're loaded. Boris, pop the arrow on. <laughs> Alright, I'm about to smoke this apple. Oh, guaranteed bullseye, guaranteed bullseye. Pop it on, Boris. Okay. My mage. Right, and. And three, two, one, enter! Oh! I mean, natural, right? Every apple in Ukraine should be terrified right now. Oh, there's the arrows. Hello again. Hello, Heather. <laughs> you, uh, you look different. What have you, been, what have you been doing? I made a flower crown. Oh, yeah, this is very nice. Yeah, thank beautiful. you. What have you been up to? Well, loads of stuff. Um, I went to the shooting range, uh, okay. shooting bow and arrow, crossbows, very nice. Also, went and minted a few coins. Awesome. Yeah, and uh, I've got a little gift for you, Heather. I've got a little gift for her. Um, if you'd open your hand, please. Uh, don't, okay. be, don't be scared. I have two minted co I did that myself. Oh, what is it? Um, so we have Prince Vladimir on one side, and then we have the ancient, uh, I think, arms of Ukraine on the other. And then that's a lucky shoe, well, a horseshoe. I think we should use this and pay for a meal. So you're just going to get one for my present <laughs> away straight away? Yeah. Well, there's an ancient, uh, ancient hut here. Should we go have some food? Yeah, let's go. go.
thanks to Heather, with my two minted coins, I've been able to afford this traditional um, Slavic feast, if you will. Um, I've got, oh, it's called Dream, Dreams of Nomad. Okay. Uh, also known as Solyanka, so I'm going to give that a go. What have you got over I've here? I've got Boyas Ukal. Yeah? Yeah. What is it? <laughs> I think it's fish broth. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, let's give it a go. Should we dig in? I'm going to go with a big spoonful. Okay. Because I'm not scared. Oh, look at that. So... Is it hot? It's... Yeah. That's yours. Go <laughs> I first. I don't want to burn my tongue. <laughs> it's actually quite nice. Is it quite nice? Mm. Okay, can I go with one? Okay, so it's basically meat broth. Um, spicy? It's got some spices in it, but I wouldn't say it was spicy. Oh, okay. Um, but I'm very hungry, so it's, it's, yeah. it's, all right. it's, um, it's okay. Uh, and we have a drink as well to go with it. It's very oily. Mm. I've, yes, I was going to say it's moisturising my lips. Yeah, it's very, very oily. Um, which I don't know if it's good for me or not. And the meat, I'm, it's mystery meat. So I don't mystery know what, meat. I don't, I don't know what the meat is. I'm going to say... Beef? It's quite gamey, so maybe like yeah, or maybe no, maybe maybe lamb. I heard that they didn't really cook soups in Kiev in Rus. Not really though. There was a prototype called Tulia, kvass mixed with slices of bread seasoned with finely chopped onions. And speaking of bread, so I'm going to try some meat. Yes. What is that? Ribs? It is. It is boar, which is just kind of like a what's, hairy. What's a boar? It's like a hairy forest. Not a bear. It's not a bear. It's a boar, <laughs> not a bear. <laughs> Yeah. Say right, okay. So let's let's put a scenario in here. I've been out. I've been hunting. Ugh. I've killed a bear and I've killed a boar. Well, you're a nasty person. But no, but I'm going to eat them, so it's okay. Uh, right. So I'm going to eat it like a like a king. Oh, maybe dip it in the dip it in the broth. Can you I'll do that? taste the flavours of the meat first. Let the juices flow. And that's good. That's mm. nice. That's good. Really yeah. Mm-hmm. Some onion as well. You can tell. It's cooked on like a traditional stove. It's smoky. It's 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 flavoursome, uh, and it comes. It falls off the bone, which is well. Oh, which is oh good, that's good. You don't good break your teeth. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna like dip this in here and like oh, get the mushroom to soak it up. You know, you've got to mix things up. <laughs> Why aren't you using your hands? <laughs> this is it. I could eat that. I could eat that all day. What about the two? All day. Mmm. As a starter. Okay, but I need a little bit more substance. Mm. Mm -hmm. Maybe a bit of bread. If I had some bread to dip in, I think I'd be a bit happier. I think there is. You have some bread over there. Do you want to get some? If you can reach over, because I'm in chain mail. You're now. in chain That's mail. That's a bit of an issue. Here's a piece of bread. There you go. Got a nice piece of bread. Dip it in. It's a solid, dry piece of bread. I'll get one as well. <laughs> that is. Is that better? It's it's different. Uh, <laughs> Probably not, yeah, not gonna eat that. Bread. Oh, the bread is rye. Mmm. That's right, because we've got the cider. Oh, that. I've drank it all. Yeah, I've drank it all. So, this, this, um, this broth and um, these ribs, I'm super into. History says that Kiev Prince Vladimir, when choosing a religion for himself and his people, turned Islam down just because Muslims banned alcohol. This is what I'm talking about. Okay. Thank you. So I think you've got some honey vodka. Honey vodka, and you've got horse yeah, radish. Yeah, the far more delicious and traditional uh, horse radish vodka. Right, I'm glad I've got the honey. It's a little oh, warm oh, the cockles. Oh. Boudoir. Boudoir. I think that's cheers. Oh, you can Sweet. really taste the horse radish. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's warmed me up and it's yeah. given me the energy. It's, it's actually not, it's gone down smoother than I thought. Yeah, I think because it was honey and vodka, it kind of like went down really smooth. So I've not got any burn in my throat, but you have. It's got an, it's got an afterburn. Uh, I, I mean, you put horseradish in a Bloody Mary's at home. Yeah, I've never So, um, but yeah, that's an odd way to flavour. I once um, flavoured vodka with bacon at university uh, and I was very ill. So I hope I'm okay after this. So what, what what do we call this place? Uh, Kievian Rus Park. Kiev, <laughs> Kievian Rus Park. That's where we've been today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Spent the day here. It's been nice. It's been it's been a long day, um, but no, it's been enjoyable and pretty. I've, I've learned a lot, which is important. I didn't really know anything about medieval Ukraine, but now we know. 
Um, and it was great because I got to make this flower crown, which was probably the highlight of the day. Been fun? Yeah, no, it's been good. Yeah, it's, uh, the weather's been unfortunate, um, but yeah, it meant that we could get around and do everything, <laughs> yeah. I suppose. But I wanted to see some battles in the courtyard. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to ride some horses. I, I wanted to physically hit a man with a sword, but unfortunately, I'm, it's You're not allowed. <laughs> yeah, it's not allowed. <laughs> no, yeah, there's. Yeah, I wanted to ride a horse, but maybe next time. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's raining. Horses hate rain. I think, I don't know. I don't know a lot about horses. I've ridden one before, though. I rode one. Is it road or ridden? I don't know. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Other than that, Boris, absolute lad, uh, taught me how to kill a man with an arrow. Oh, um, how old was he? He was 12 years old. Um, but I'm, I'm terrified of him. Um, and yeah, no, that was nice. That was, a good, that was a highlight, if you will. And right now we have a beautiful sunset, and it's just a nice way to end the day. Up here, the little flower queen, the sun flower queen.